Hey, hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I wanted to talk about a very simple but useful filmmaking tool, uh, which is this frame. Here I have a white screen stretched on the frame. It's commonly called a silk screen. Uh, this is a great way to either uh, soften direct light, like, like sunlight, uh, or even to bounce a lot of the light back at your subject. Uh, you can also put a black screen on it and use it as a negative fill or even a, a black background. Uh, the kit that I'm using here is made by Digital Juice and it's an 8x8 eight eight feet butterfly frame kit uh, that comes with everything you need. Uh, now if you've seen one of my exclusive lighting tutorials, like uh, for example the Lighting Dozen uh, that's on my website, then you will remember me using a frame uh, like this in, in different ways, except uh, the one that I used was a simple do-it-yourself frame. Uh, now that, that version cost me less than $100 to make it, I uh, basically made it out of uh, these four pieces of the three quarter inch PVC pipe and then I decided uh, how large I want the frame to be and cut the pipes to length. Uh, mine are almost eight feet long and then I got three quarters of an inch and 90 degree copper adapters. I got four of those for uh, each of the corners. And I also got two three inch long uh, quarter inch thick bolts and two knobs with the same uh, size thread. Uh, then I just put the 90 degree copper adapters on the corners and I used some duct tape to attach the adapters to two of the PVC pipes. Uh, this will allow me to detach the frame but make sure the, the adapters stay attached so I don't lose them uh, while transporting. Uh, the other pipe uh, that's not taped, I just slip it into the PVC pipe and it holds well. Uh, then I take some leftover PVC pipe and drill a quarter inch hole through it. Uh, I do the same thing in the middle of one of the PVC pipes that make up the frame. Uh, then I attach it together to make a simple light stand uh, attachment. And, and I repeat the same thing on the opposite side of, of the frame. Uh, to mount the frame to, to a light stand, I just put this on top of the, the ends of the light stands. And then using the bolt nub, I can loosen the frame to adjust the angle, and then I can tighten it to keep it in place. And now the fabric that I'm using here are just some old window curtains that I got my aunt to sew together uh, to make one large piece. Uh, she also attached the loops at the edges so I can slip the PVC pipes through it. Uh, to take it apart, it's pretty easy. I just have to pull out the two uh, PVC pipes and then roll the whole thing together. And now as good as this do-it-yourself frame is, it's, it's got a lot of limitations when compared to the professional uh, butterfly frame kit from the Digital Juice. One of the main problems is transporting the frame. Since each frame is 8 feet long, it means that you need a car that has at least 8 feet of space. Same thing applies to older uh, pro frames. They are usually really heavy and big. Uh, the Digital Juice Butterfly Frame Kit is great because uh, it all fits in just two bags. Uh, one bag is 13 inches long and the other bag that holds the frame is 50 inches long. Uh, also, it's made of strong but light uh, aluminum. The whole frame is collapsible and really can be set up by just one person, as you can see me doing here. Just unfold the frame, uh, lock the corners and then put the frame on your stands. Uh, also, the c stand brackets make attaching the frame to any grip head very easy. Here I'm attaching the frame to two c stands that are also made by Digital Juice. Uh, advantage of these stands uh, over the stands that I used in my do-it-yourself frame is that these can go a lot higher and also they are heavier and a lot more sturdy, which makes this whole setup a lot more stable. Just don't forget to put sandbags on the stands to add uh, extra weight. This is very important, especially if you're setting up uh, outside since the, any wind will effectively turn your frame into a big sail. Uh, so you need the extra weight uh, or the wind will tip the frame over and you don't want this to, you know, to fall and land on top of your talent. To put the fabric on the frame is easy since each fabric comes with an elastic band on all corners. Uh, so I use that first to place it on the frame and then I use the supplied uh, bungee cord tie downs to properly stretch the fabric. Uh, another great thing about the grip heads and stand is that they make it very easy to put the frame into any position you want and then quickly lock it into place. Something I always struggled with uh, in my do-it-yourself frame. Uh, that one worked, but it was always a little too flimsy. Uh, the frame is made of PVC pipe, so it bends a little and the whole thing just wobbles. Uh, also, the fabric I used was just some old window curtains and it's not as strong as the fabric that Digital Juice makes and also it's not at all re resistant to heat, so you can't reuse it next to hot film lights. Uh, the Digital Juice Butterfly Kit comes with both a white silk fabric that you can use to diffuse light and also a non-reflective black fabric that's great as a negative film or just uh, as a black background. Of course there's a lot of creative ways of how you can use this frame to control light and because it's so big it can be used both inside or outside to control natural and artificial light. 
If you want to see some of the setups where I use this frame, then make sure you get my Lighting Dozen tutorials, which are available on my website. Now, you can get the Butterfly Frame Kit right now for just $699. Uh, that's cheaper than any other Pro Frames. Plus, like I said, it's very portable, easy to set up, and it comes with everything really that you need. Uh, if you get the Frame Kit, I would also suggest getting their grip stands. Uh, links to where you can get all this, including my Lighting Dozen tutorials, is on my website and also in the description of this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and as always, remember that in filmmaking, there are no problems, just a lack of solutions.